Hi, right, welcome to another video. Today we'll be servicing a Peugeot 207. It's a 2008 model petrol. Um, we'll be changing the oil filter, which is just down the bottom here. The air filter, which is here, and the spark plugs, which are just in the back there. Um, firstly, I'll show you how to remove the air filter, which I've already removed and changed anyway. Got a clip just here. Just um, twist that and undo it. Then you have uh, a seven mil. Uh, not just here that you can undo to remove this. Uh, this pipe is also connected there. Press down the yellow tab there, release it. That comes out very easily. Then with a Phillips screwdriver, um, just undo the screws there, remove and replace the filter. You can leave that to the side for now, you'll be changing that later. Then what you need to do next is uh, remove this pipe from here. Again, just by pressing on the yellow um, release there and lifting it up. Uh, you've got a 10 mil nut there, a 10 mil nut there. You need to remove those, and then we'll so take once you remove the nuts from there, just loosen up the wiring from these uh, hooks just here. And then, all you simply need to do is lift it up, there you go, that's out. And the spark plugs are just back in these cylinder holes here. So you get those removed, replace them, and reverse the steps to put this back. And then we'll move on to the next step from there. So that's how you remove the spark plugs. Okay, the spark plugs have all been replaced. Uh, everything's back. Everything's back to normal there. Everything's connected back up. Again, the air filter will go in a bit later on with the housing. That will go in a bit later on. Now it's time to replace the uh, oil filter. You're going to need a 27mm socket. Uh, remove that, place the filter, put it back tight in it, get the car up, replace the uh, oil from the bottom of the sump, and that's pretty much it. You've got the coolant just here, screen wash here, um, you've got the brake and clutch fluid just in there, um, dipstick is obviously here to check the engine oil level. That's pretty much it really, um, that's all done, if this has helped you in any way please do give the video a thumbs up, please do subscribe to the channel, if you have any questions as always please do put them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them as quick as possible. Thanks for watching, bye bye.